Welcome back to Studio 90 Extra Time. This is a part of the show where we have a little bit of fun with the guys. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. But we're also going to take mm -hmm. some questions from the fans that we got on our Twitter account. So before we get to the good eats here, okay. uh, Bill Rams, the guy's name is Bill Rams, asks, uh, why does so much talent come out of the OC, Orange County? That's where Los Alamitos yeah. is based. I mean, I think uh, Southern California in general is a very big breeding ground for soccer players. You know, we can play year-round because uh, of the weather. Um, you know, a lot of people want to live in Southern California, so we got a lot of, lot of people to choose from. And then, uh, you know, just the organizations that are down there, the club soccer teams, the, uh, you know, AYSO, and, you know, everyone included in who developed the youth is really good, and, and we have a lot of experience from, from those players. Speaking of Los Alamitos, have you ever been to Nick's Deli? I have been in Nick's Deli. Best That's... breakfast burritos ever. Me and Nick are boys. I are go you? in there all the time. You yeah. know, it's funny, because every time I go in there, I want to go, hey, do you guys know Jonathan Bornstein? But, every... I, but I've never done that before, but I e want to. Every time I walk in there, the yeah. cooks all go, hey, Chivas man, <laughs> hey, Chivas man. <laughs> and then they're like, did you watch, you know, the Mexican games? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I saw that game. All right, next time I go in there, I'm <laughs> dropping your name. Maybe I'll get a free breakfast burrito. Yeah. All right. I mean, um, I do. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, second question from fans. This comes from uh, Chris mm -hmm. D. Paola. He okay. asks, what was the first World Cup that you remember really watching, really getting into, and who were your favorite players in that World Cup? Um, I think it was my junior year in high school, uh, probably 2000. Well, I was a senior then, 2002. Um, just because uh, World Cups before that, I didn't really have you know, a way to watch them really uh, on TV. They didn't have much coverage. But uh, in that World Cup, the U.S. actually did really well. And I remember watching, you know, Landon and Brian McBride, and uh, you know, from the other teams. I remember Germany did, you know, pretty well, and you know, it was uh, pretty pretty exciting to watch those games. One memory I do have is being in math class, and one of the games was on, and I, I literally forced the teacher to put the game on, and everyone in the class was like, "What are you doing watching <laughs> soccer like in class?" You know, and I was like, "Hey, dude, the World Cup is on. I want to watch it." So we put it on. You're like, one day I may be playing that. Everyone's yeah. like, get, get, get out, out of here. here. No way. You're not playing the World Cup. Yeah. All right, so. Go you, back to the deli. Go go back. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> speaking of the deli. All right, so yeah. you told us your favorite sandwich, turkey avocado from yeah. Apple Spice Junction. We thought maybe we'll see if you can whip one up. Okay. Um, we heard you had some experience in the food service industry, maybe working at a chicken restaurant. Is that yeah, true? Yeah, I used to deliver chicken at a Charo Chicken, so <laughs> I know my way around a kitchen and and I can make a sandwich pretty well. All right, unfortunately, um, we couldn't find an avocado here in South Africa, at least not right. yet. Yeah. Um, we do have some tomato, I see some onions, but what do you like on your turkey avocado sandwich? Take us through it. All right, so. Without avocado. Yeah, without yeah. avocado. I mean, at the store they got honey oat bread, which uh, you know is very good. It's actually the best bread they got, but today I'm gonna make it on wheat because we're going for a little healthier with the games coming up and everything. No mustard? So I wouldn't do mustard. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, I would normally do mayonnaise, and there's no mayonnaise here, but so we'll just act like we're putting mayonnaise yeah. on. This is mayonnaise, whatever. So, uh, yeah, we'll just do Dijon mustard, just to say mayonnaise. I like Dijon mustard. Okay. Well, what is the key to a good I, sandwich? I mean, you, you, your family is sandwich experts. Okay, well, the thing that yeah. makes Apple Spice Junction sandwiches so good is the freshness of the bread. I mean, it's made fresh every morning, and uh, I mean, I concur. No, no. I concur. I've never had a sandwich with better bread. Yeah, it sort of melts so in So I would say I that that is the key ingredient to this thing. And then you got your turkey, which uh, looks like it had a little <laughs> something else on it before this. But <laughs> well, that brings okay. me a an apple spice trivia question for you. Yeah. What can you get on any sandwich for 25 cents? Um, cranberries? Cranberry yes! Oh, bing, yeah. bing, 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 bing. <laughs> well done. <laughs> All right, a little cheese, perhaps. A little cheese. I go yeah. with a little cheddar and provolone. Double cheese. Double cheese. So that's like that, and then uh, a little bit of lettuce, tomatoes. Where do the pickles fit into this scenario? Well, the pickles are uh, kind of my grandpa's forte. He's always bringing out the little dill pickles and wants me to put them on the sandwich. They're actually really tasty, but uh, you know, I like to only mix that up every once in a while. So. All right, so Step we have his. what is basically a South African turkey and avocado sandwich. Yep, minus the avocado. Minus the avocado with some tomato. <laughs> with mustard. <laughs> with mustard. <laughs> is, why, don't yeah. you, why don't you fold that bread on that, okay. cut that up, and then we'll, we'll have a little taste. I feel like we're on the Food Network here. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Can I have a Food Network show? We are on a Food Network show. Yeah. All right, here you go. All right. This is for you. Thank you very much. Okay, you yep. got it? Cool. This is mine. 
So Johnny Bornstein to Apple Spice Junction. To the U.S. doing well in the World Cup. Well said. All right. Mm. That is delicious. The bread, bread isn't. Bread not quite as good as Apple no, Spice Junction. No. Pretty high up there. So. But very good. Turkey is good. All right, cool. I hate to get out of this with my mouth full, but we're going to sit Johnny B down for a few more questions. Put a podcast up on the website. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for sending in your tweets. During the entire World Cup, you get a chance to send in your tweets. <laughs> to all the U.S. players we talked to. And that's it on the first edition of Studio 90 Extra Time. Mm -hmm. With Johnny Bornstein. We misinterpreted how chewy the sandwich was going to be. Yeah, the bread is a little dry. I'm yeah. not going to lie.